America's had this philosophy now all these years. Communism has taught all these years capital belongs in the hands of the state, not in the hands of the people. We've been teaching all these years capital belongs in the hands of the people, not in the hands of the state. And we turned out to be right. Capital in the hands of the kids, capital in the hands of the people. Enterprises that make a profit, enterprises that grow, it's the hope of our future. So that little simple formula, I hope will help you. Now, one more key on financial independence, and that is attitude. Attitude. Here's number one. I used to say, I hate to pay my bills. My teacher straightened me out on that. He said, let's see, Mr. Owen, what you hate to do is pay $100 on an account and reduce your liabilities and increase your assets. I said, well, no, not if you look at it that way. He said, well, it all depends on how you look at it. So wouldn't you love to pay your bills, reduce your liabilities, increase your assets? You've got to have that kind of attitude. I found out the same attitude about taxes. I used to say, I hate to pay my taxes. And Mr. Shove said, well, that's one way to live. But don't you understand? Taxes is how we care and feed the goose that lays the golden eggs. Wouldn't you want to do your share? Someone says, yes, but the goose eats too much. Probably true. But hey, we all eat too much. We all need to go on a diet. Better a fat goose than no goose. So I finally became a happy taxpayer. Now, I think taxes are too high, so I'm working to get taxes lowered for our economic future. But then whatever they turn out to be, I gladly pay, do my part, because that's what makes the whole system run, each of us doing our part. Now, I want these three subjects to be valuable for you. I want them to have meaning for you. Uh, I want you someday to be financially independent. Uh, I want you to have the personal development so that you feel good about yourself. If I had a chance to meet you someday, I'd like to have you show me the list of goals that you got started and say, Mr. Owen, here's some I've already checked off. Uh, here's the books I'm reading. Uh, here's what's happened. I'm developing the skills. I'm better this year than I was last year. I've got more self-confidence. My skills are developing. Uh, that's what I want for you, and that's why I took the time to come and share in this video message with you. I do seminars all around the world, but this is one way that I can reach out and touch you in case you can't come to my seminars wherever I am. Maybe this video will reach you somewhere, and it'll have an impact on your life. And what I'd like to do is later hear about it, a letter, phone call, or to have a chance to meet you in person. And now I'd like to leave you with these four questions called questions to ponder. These questions were valuable for me, and I want to make them valuable for you. Here's the first one, why? We all ask why we should work this hard. Why take that many classes? Why go to school that many years? You know, why take the notes? Why read the books? Why work that hard? Why put yourself through the push-ups and the disciplines? Why? Good question, why? Best answer to why, I think, is the second question. Why not? Why not see how many books you can read, how many classes you can take, how many skills you can develop? Why not see how valuable you can become to the marketplace and to your friends and to your family? Why not see what you can make of yourself? Why not see how far you can go, how much you can see, how much you can earn, how much you can share? Why not? That's the heritage all of us have in America, especially is to see what we can make out of our lives now that we've been given this extraordinary opportunity. Now, my third question I'd love to ask you in person. But since I can't do it in person, I want to ask it of all of you. But I want you to take it personally. And my third question is, why not you? Why not you with good self-esteem? Why not you starting to change and setting goals? Why not you starting to make progress toward financial independence? Uh, if I can do it, you can do it. I wish I had a lot more testimonials here today besides mine, a whole steady stream that would come by and tell you their story. Someone who started with nothing, finally run a big enterprise. A mother who was on welfare, now she owns her own business. In addition to my story, I wish I had a lot more and if all of them told their story, guess how they would probably wind up their story? They'd probably say, just like me, why not you? If we can read, you can read. If we can change, you can change. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. If we can turn it around, you can turn it around. There isn't anything you can't accomplish. That's what those testimonials would say. And so I want to say it to you personally. Why not you? Uh, you've got the brains. You've got the 
the stamina, you've got the vitality, you've got the interest, you've got your life ahead of you, you've got the future. You can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. If one of us can do it, hey, we all can do it. And now here's my last question. Why not now? This is a good time. As the 20th century starts to wind down a few more years as we get ready for century 21, what a good time to set your goals, work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together. What a good time to start this process, personal development, growing, changing, developing, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? And I hope I have a chance to see you one of these days and share with you the experience, the reaction, the response you might have had from my message today. And until I get a chance to see you on this side of the world or the other side of the world, in some school or some seminar, or maybe I'll come and speak for a company that you work for someday, I hope I get a chance to meet you. Until then, I wish you the best. I want all that I've gotten to be yours and much, much more. God bless. Goodbye.